Sarah, who's been running around barking at everything for the last hour, and I'm afraid that he is going to hurt himself or someone's going to be scared of him. So I called the police. And this is the same owner who said I was smoking meth. There he is now. He's in my yard. Hey, pupper. <coughs> yeah, you're okay. I called the police and they'll come and get him. Yeah, that's okay. Come here. And I've got a leash here. And if he comes over here, I'll be able to put him on it. Come here, little sweetie. Come on, you're okay. I told the police to park in my yard. He obviously is not used to being loose, and he's a new dog they have. The same people who had to make sure mine got taken away because they said I was smoking meth. Idiots. They don't deserve a dog like this. I do. I wish you were my puppy. Wi-Fi network's available. Now he's going up the driveway, and he'll probably come back over here because this yard has habitat for living creatures, not the plastic idiots living next door. Buddy Procash, move. I don't even want you to live here next to me. And you own the house and I rent. Not for long, I'm buying it. And I'll buy up everything around it so that living creatures that are beautiful, like your dog, have a good place to go. There he goes down my driveway. Don't go on the road. No, no, don't go on the road. Come on, don't, no, 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 don't go in the road. See, if he goes in the road, he could get hit by a car. Now he's going to cross the street. Ah, 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 ah. No, come on. Come here. Come here. See, he's watching me. <laughs> but he's not listening very well because he's a, he's a dog and he's going to do what he wants to do. But at least I've got it on film. Oh, now he's in the neighbor's yard and they have a cat. G buddy next door. What would happen if your dog ate the cat? But I kind of doubt it because here's my cat and my cat's not afraid. Yeah, you're not afraid of that dog, are you? We're just afraid of the owners. Buddy Procash and his weirdo wife who had to call Brenda Bessett within two minutes of her getting home after coming here with her three dogs to tell her I smoke methamphetamine. Do I look like a meth head? And the cops still aren't here. And the dog's over there across the street at the neighbors, over at Boar's house. The people who couldn't help me when there was a snowstorm by even helping me down the steps when I got snowed in. Lovely, lovely people I've grown up with here in Shano. They do have some nice children though, and Mrs. Boar and Old Man Boar are nice. They're just busy trying to take care of their own, which is what we're all supposed to do and nobody seems to want to do. So then when it comes time to help your neighbor, you can't do it because you don't have time. Nobody had time for me on any side of this place. The people I knew growing up, the squirrels in the 200-year-old tree have time. That dog across the street has time to bark at me and pay attention to me. He was running all over my yard for the last hour. And here come the police right now. So they can find the dog. See? They show up when they're supposed to. But Buddy Procash next door, he didn't show up at all, did he? His dog is running loose. The same man who made fun of me, along with other people. There he is. Come on, puppy. <coughs> hey, get back here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Come back home. Go in your yard. That's a good dog. Not in the road. Go in your yard. I'm talking to him. Yes. Here's the police officer, and we got it all on film. I'm not a complainant. I'm trying to save this dog's life, but yes, I called. Yeah. You're the one that called? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Officer Liza. I don't think I met you before. <laughs> he won't bite you. He's a good boy. His owner probably will, though. He's not so nice. Right next door there, that's the same people that called and said I was smoking meth and my foster dog got taken away from me because of it. And they got a new dog here, it looks like a hunting dog, a hound of some sort. He's very nice but he barks a lot and he was running around my yard the past hour. Someone will be afraid and something bad will happen to that dog while Buddy's off being Buddy somewhere bitching at everybody. Same guy who 
almost ran me over because I was in front of his driveway in a wheelchair. Nice. <sighs> Maureen, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Buddy X next door. <laughs> Except he's not Buddy, my friend, is he? <laughs> Where's Nina Cherry when we need her? Oh, there he goes. Look. <laughs> there he goes. He won't let that officer near him. Maybe he'll let me buy him. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? I don't need to think. It's like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> free ride that you just couldn't take because you were in a wheelchair getting run over by buddy next door. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait till buddy and his bitchy wife get home tonight. And Paul Procash, you could have done a little better raising your kid without making him a spoiled brat. Now I hope the officer gets the dog. <laughs> There's my chair. There's my chair for squirrel watching. Oh, there's the dog. Back button. Come here. Come Double on, tap to activate. Come Double here. tap and hold to long press. Come here. No, 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 don't go across the street. <laughs> and the chase is on. There he goes. No, hey, no. Come on. Get back here. Jesus Christ, I should be getting paid two thousand dollars an hour for training canines. Police department should hire me. Come on. Come on. I do shits on. Come here, baby. Come on, get back home in your yard. Yeah, buddy, you trained your dog real good, didn't ya? <laughs> back button. Oh my god. Double tap to activate. I can't even Double tap it. and hold to long press. Gum. I know it's kind of crass, but it tastes good. <laughs>